Qt offers all the necessary tools to design, develop, build, and deploy your application onto the target hardware. This video shows you how to use the GUIs of Qt tools to develop Linux applications on an NXP i.mx device. We'll go through how to design a simple UI using Qt Design Studio, and how to create a project in Qt Creator and utilize the ready-made boot to Qt image for the NXP i.mx device. We'll also take a look on how you can build the project on the target hardware. First, let's install some Qt tools on your computer. To develop Linux applications on an NXP i.mx device, you need to install Qt, Qt Creator, Qt Design Studio, and boot to Qt Software Stack for the NXP target hardware you're working on. If you haven't installed any of these before, install them using the online installer. If you already have some of these tools installed on your computer, use the maintenance tool to install the rest of them. Here in the online installer we have already selected most of these tools, but still need to select Boot to Qt Software Stack. For installing Boot to Qt Software Stack, you need to first open the top-level Boot to Qt Software Stack drop-down menu, and then the drop-down menu specific to your Qt version. Finally, select nxpi.mx8 mquad evk. Select Next, and finish the installation process. Next, you need to open Qt Design Studio to create a cross-platform UI, which can also be used for embedded Linux applications. First select Create Project. Keep the default settings for a general project, and name your project. Also notice the project path so you can later open it in Qt Creator. Next, adjust the display resolution and orientation to suit your display. Check that your target Qt version matches the version of Qt installed on your machine. Finally, select Create. You can now modify your UI as you wish. Once it is ready, select Save All to make sure that you can open the project in Qt Creator. See the Qt Design Studio manual for more information and useful tutorials on how to create your UI. Next, you need to flash the system image containing the boot to Qt software stack to a microSD card. First, insert a microSD card into your PC. Next, open Qt Creator. Select Tools, and then select Flash Boot to Qt Device. Follow the Boot to Qt Flashing Wizard to flash the system image to your microSD card. Finally, select Finish. After you have flashed the image to a microSD card, insert the card into your target hardware and turn on the device. The NXP i.mx device starts with boot to Qt application by default and if it is connected to the Ethernet network, the application shows the IP address of the device. A boot to Qt device can be connected to network either via USB, Ethernet, or Wi-Fi. In this video, we'll look at how to connect the device by using Ethernet or Wi-Fi connectivity. After the target device is connected to network and has an IP address, you can set it up to be used in Qt Creator. Go to Qt Creator and select Edit, and then select Preferences. In the Devices section of the Preferences window, first select Add, and then select Add Boot to Qt Device. Next, enter the host name or the IP address. Then, for the username, type root. Next, select apply, and then select OK. Your device is now connected to network. Next, you should configure and build your application. In Qt Creator, navigate to the project you created with Qt Design Studio. Select the cmakelists.txt file to open the project. Then, in the configure project window, First select your nxpi.mx kit, and then select Configure Project. Finally, select Build and then select Build Project to build the project you configured. You can now run your application on the nxpi.mx device. First, select File, and then select Open File or Project. 
Navigate to the project you configured earlier, and then select Open. You can edit the run settings in the project's window if necessary. Finally, select Run and see your very own application running on the NXP i.mx device. For more information on how to deploy Qt projects to the device, see the tutorial, Deploying Your First Project with Boot to Qt. To find out how to use Qt Creator to debug an application, see Debugging in the Qt Creator Manual.